Hey guys, it's Pastor Preston and Pastor Kenneth, and we're on the set of Entourage, aren't we? Yeah, this is our brand new series starting this week. Yeah. Um, we're going to be on the set of a movie called Treasure Hunter 7, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be following Pastor Dave and Colin Brooks um, as they're making this movie, and this entire series is all about making friends and choosing the right friends. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, and this week, you know, we've always had something to dress up as. Well, this time, we have gotten some uh, black shirts for you to wear as crew of Treasure Hunter 7 film crew, and we're going to have some iron-ons put on that, on some of them for the check-in and for us on stage, but we'll also have some for the rest of you this weekend if you want to put it on your own shirt, but uh, we'll talk more about that this weekend. But Entourage is going to be a great, great series um, starting this weekend, but, you know, the main thing we really wanted to communicate to you guys right now is the big, exciting changes we've got coming up uh, this year and starting in just a few weeks. So Kenneth and I just kind of want to outline what we had this past weekend in the meeting, uh, what we had discussed. And if you had not been, if you were not at the meeting, we want to make sure that you get the information right now as well. So what we want to talk about right now is the diagram that we're going to show you. Um, as you see at the top, it is the ministry team. That refers to the room pastor and the room manager, which is a different uh, person for each of the rooms. Yeah, for fourth and fifth grade, it's Pastor Preston and Rachel. Right. Um, for second and third grade, our room, that'll be myself and Alia. And in kindergarten and first grade, that'll be Pastor Dave and Alicia. Right. So then breaking down from there, we will have a logistics leader you'll see there in the front who's the logistics team leader. The logistics leader will be covering everything from check-in to check-out and everything in between. Uh, and then right below the logistics leader, you'll see the logistics volunteers. The logistics volunteers are going to be your check-in, your greeters, the kid ticks, passer out people, the check-out people, the ones who are manning the kid ticks booth. Pretty much anyone who's not doing a small group reports to the logistics team leader. Then you'll see the two grade leaders. So say in fourth and fifth grade, you'll have a fourth grade leader and a fifth grade team leader. And then below them, they will have five adult small group leaders and five junior volunteer small, small group leaders. Okay, now what this looks like um, is this. You're going to be partnered up, an adult and a junior, leading one small group. Now that small group is going to have an assigned 20 kids. Every single week you will have your personal checklist of your small group with the 20 kids assigned to your group. Um, now, of course, every single week you may not have all 20, so any children that aren't in your small group that week will fill those spots with the unassigned kids. Um, which will be the grade leader's responsibility to divvy those kids out, the first-time visitors and the unassigned kids that we have in the room. And as we grow, as we hope this is going to do, because this is all about building relationships between you and the, the volunteers, between each other and with the kids and with the kids' families, as we grow, uh, as we get into another 10, a group of 10, we're going to need more grade leaders to step up and take on another group of 10 volunteers uh, at, to report to. So uh, be looking out for that because we may be approaching you about that. Okay, the, the biggest reason we're doing this yeah. um, and all of this change is all about relationships. We want to make sure that when a child walks into our doors that they have another child to connect with, another friend um, that they can hang out with during our service. Um, and by doing assigned small groups, we're hopefully going to foster those relationships, not only with um, two children, but with all 20 kids in that same small group. Um, with uh, in addition to the relationships with child on child, we want to be able to have you guys build relationships with the kids. They're going to see you every single week in the same small group. You are going to be their small group leader so that you can build that rapport with that child and the rest of the children in your group. Which is a great thing you bring up because that's something to make note of. If you can't be here a particular weekend to take your small group out, your small group doesn't go out to a small group. They'll stay in here for a large group. And that's okay. We know everyone's going to have to take some time off here and there, but that's what your junior volunteer is there to do, is to back you up. We've got to have each other's back while we, we soldier forward with this new change. And, and so, so know that as we, as we go forward, that your commitment is going to be very, very important, and, as well as the kids. This is going to hopefully foster consistency with the kids each week, and the same with you guys, taking ownership of your individual small groups each and every week. Now, the last thing I just want to point out on the, the screen is the side-by-side -side volunteers on this diagram. Uh, that's, a, that's the uh, last part of the equation that we're going to have where we intend to have a volunteer assigned to each side of the grade to, to help out and assist 
with those children who need special attention with the, as a side-by-side. -side. Yeah, in, in, in the past, we've had that side-by-side -side person to report, uh, they've reported to someone that wasn't even into the room. Now, by doing, uh, by doing this, they're going to be a part of your grade, your room, and they're going to basically build relationships with all other volunteers in that room instead of being kind of separated from what's happening in, uh, in the actual service. Yeah. So that's the, about, that's the general outline of it all. We will talk more about this this weekend as we meet together in our team meetings. So if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up with any emails, but also just uh, bring them to the meeting. And this is going to take a little while for everyone to get a, a grasp on, but we're going to soldier through this together. And uh, coming this weekend, what's the, the first, well, the next thing we need y'all to do is to make sure that you report back to us, confirm with us, what small group you would like, if there's some certain kids that you would like to have in your small group, and or if there's a particular grade. If not, we'll just assign you wherever. But if you have a preference, we want to be able to give you at least that. And then uh, we're also going to be passing out to the parents All right. a particular flyer. We're going to be, uh, this weekend, we're starting um, the kickoff for this. We're going to be handing out the registration forms at check-in to the parents, telling them that we are going to assign small groups, and this is their opportunity to sign their child up for a small group. Um, we're going to pass out flyers and we're also going to have um, large displays out in the CCC. So uh, be sure to check that out in your team meeting. Um, other than that, um, just be sure to send us back that email um, confirming um, what grade that yeah. you want to take out. Um, and thank you guys just so much for your, um, your leadership, your um, ability to come and do what God really has asked you to do. Um, it's not always going to be easy, but we know um, as a staff, and we hope you guys know that anything that is worth doing is going to be is, is going to be hard fought, but we're going to be advancing the kingdom. So thank you guys yeah. um, for that, and we're looking forward to seeing what God does here in 2010. It's going to be an awesome, awesome year. This is I've said it many times before to the fourth, fifth grade team. This is going to be a revolutionary year for FC Kids, and all of you have been handpicked, hand selected by God to be a part of this. So let's let's do it together, and let's get ready for huge impacts. We'll see you soon. See ya.